For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and put the radio in single band mode and put the GPS compass on the bottom half. So first of all, we need to go ahead and hit the function AB to put it in single band mode. And then we're going to put it on the A band by hitting AB. Next we want to put the compass rows in the bottom half by hitting menu, configuration, display, single band display data which is menu 904 and just go up to GPS altitude. Then I'll back out of the menu and that puts us in north up on our compass on the bottom. The next thing we want to do is make sure we're in heads up mode. So we'll just go ahead and hit function position which will put us into the my position screens and you'll see that there is no HU in the bottom right hand side. So we'll hit function button which will put the heads up, the HU in the bottom right. And we'll just go ahead and review these screens while we're here. We got the lat long grid square altitude over there on the left top side. On the bottom left, we have the date and time. On the right side, we have course, compass rows, and then the heads up and speed. Second screen will have all our target information. And then the third screen will have all the GPS information. So let's just back out of that, and that should put us where we want to be for now. All right, we're outside, and this is the got some data. We're going to go ahead and look at the My Position page. So we hit Function, Position, and there you see the first page with all your data, GPS data. There's with a target set. So you see the direction to target, the distance in the target. And since I did an APRS, it actually has an icon with it. And we got satellite data. We got our compass pointer. And we're headed north. And this is without a target. And as you can see with the heads up, the compass rose rotates so that the pointer always points in the direction you're traveling. All right, now that we have a GPS fix, let's hit function, position to get into my position. Then we're going to push and hold position until position memory store pops up. We're going to tell it OK. And then just to show you what happens if we try to push menu now, it's just going to ask you to overwrite. So we're going to back out and then hit position again, then hit menu, go up to edit, hit name, and we'll put my truck. Push enter to accept, go down to icon, and that's the other one we're gonna change. So we're gonna change icon, we'll push enter. And then instead of using the encoder button at the top, I wanna use the arrow so you can see what I'm doing, but we're gonna, either one will work. So we'll push down arrow until we see a truck, and then we'll tell it okay. And then we'll just back out of this until we get here. And then here's where we can choose target point. So we're going to set this as our target point and back out. And now you can see my truck over on the right-hand side showing that we're tracking. And it shows the GPS location. And we'll go outside and we'll just rotate around that position and show you how the compass rose responds to it. All right, we have now set the point and named it my truck. And now as we travel forward, it points to my truck off to the east of me as I'm going north. So as I go around my truck, it will keep me pointing at the truck and continue to track my directions. So if you watch the actual compass directions on the outside, they show my direction I'm traveling, and the arrow continues to point to where my truck is. All right, the next thing we're going to do is actually go to the APRS list, find us someone to track, and we'll just choose someone randomly here. Let's try him. Then we'll just hit Menu. Scroll down to copy to position memory and tell OK and OK again. 
back out of that. Now if we go into position, you'll see that the APRS call sign has been put in there. And we'll just go ahead and hit TP for track point. Then we'll back out of that. And now you can see that the call sign is up there and it's a track point. And another interesting thing is if you go into my position and go to target point, you'll see that it also shows the icon of the APR station. Just as a side note. All right, we'll go outside and we'll let you see how that works. That's pretty much the same as tracking any point you put in yourself, but we'll just give a real quick demo of that. All right, we have the call sign in there and we're tracking the call sign. And I'm not going to do too much with this since we've already seen this several times. But basically the same concept is position. It'll keep track of the call sign and direction to it while it tracks your direction of travel. The last thing we're going to do today is to show you how to log your waypoints to a file. So we're just going to go to menu, go to GPS, go to track log, and go to track log again which is 410 and just turn that to on. The other thing we'll do is we'll set how often it does it by time. You have distance and beacon also, but for now we're just going to do time and we're going to make the interval 10 seconds, which it already is. So we just back out of that and I'll go take an evening walk and come back and show you the waypoints. All right, I am going to show you a different way to get to your waypoint files. And we're just going to go to menu, go to configuration, go to interface, go to menu 980 USB function, change it to mass storage, and back out of the menu. And now we'll just plug the radio in and it'll treat the radio like a USB drive. All right, just to show you what happens, I'm going to plug the USB in while we're recording. And you'll see that it says, to exit mass storage mode, please execute the safe removal on PC and disconnect the USB cable. Now I'll go ahead and offload those files and convert them. All right, we're going to go get our files. So let's open File Explorer. Let's go down to the USB drive. Click on the USB drive. Kenwood, THD75, GPS log, copy it and bring it up to Kenwood GPS and we're going to paste it right there. Now all we have left to do is to convert that file from an NME to a KML so we can upload to Google.